from Brands Winner a Total War of Tela Tournament Match, and this is Cup of Nations 2015 uh, Tournament. Groups, second group stage, Group 5, match between Achilles, playing as the Huns, and he's part of the Agony Clan, of course, and uh, Serdomsky, who is the Jutes. So, uh, let's see how this one's gonna play out, of course. As we are now loaded in, I'm gonna go into slow motion, go over the builds. So, let's see Achilles' build. He has his step chieftain gold three with brace. Very good choice, of course, because I mean, what else can you choose as the hunts <laughs> as your general? Sadly, you have to pick an, uh, an, a cavalry general, and as part of the Cup of Nations rules, you have max six cavalry that you can bring. That includes your general, so the hunts have a disadvantage in that regard, uh, as well as many other disadvantages with the current patch. And by the way, even though this uh, video is uploaded later, it's still with the older patch. Like, r round two games. Uh, I mean, second group stage games will, were all played under the patch previous to the Celtic DLC, so keep that in mind. Uh, anyway, up front we see five step lancers, backed up by, let's see, five Bosphoran warriors, and a lot of Ur warriors, six of those. The ones in the center seem to have bronze one upgrades, decent choice. All the way in the back, we have a Bosphoran infantry, and of course, his general, as I mentioned before. Now, of course, Stradomsky, well, who is the Jutes? Let's see. We have two Nordic Axe, actually, not Nordic Axe warriors, of course, because this is uh, the Jutes. Two Huskarls on his right flank. Uh, then three Nordic Horse Lords, all bronze, two. As for his left flank, two Huskarls and Three Nordic Horse Lords, Bronze 2 as well, so basically the same contingent. Uh, we don't see any skirmishes, interestingly enough, for the Jutes here, but let's see the rest of his contingent though. So let's see, the center we have two Herdmen, Bronze 1, and his uh, Viking Captain, Bronze 2 General, and a Royal Huskarl. This unit is going to do massive damage in melee, for sure, because, you know, it's... It's insanely expensive, but in melee it's going to wreck things up. So, um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting game for sure, because, uh, I mean, the Huns, with the Ur Warriors, they will trade very efficiently against uh, what, uh, what the what what the the Jutes have here. So, uh, especially if the Hun Cav gets into the Huskarls. Basically, if the Hun Cav gets into the Huskarls, it should be game over. But yeah, let's hit play. So yeah, Huns versus Jutes normally wouldn't be very good for the Huns, but we'll see. With some uh, clever micro, it can be pulled off, but it's it's really, really, really difficult to pull something like that off, of course. So yeah, let's see Nordic Horse Lords still over here in the front. We'll see how the engagement starts. I mean, it's not impossible for the Huns to win, but it's really, really, really hard. Just extremely hard. So yeah, looks like uh, Shock Cap going around for the Huns, the Step Lancers. Gonna be prepared to meet the Cap of the Jutes. So here we go, the engagement starting, but. Infantry support is much closer for the Huns, which is huge. And now these guys are actually throwing some jabs into the Nordic Horse Lords here, killing a lot of them, as you were able to see here. Uh, and now the Hun infantry should come in, especially once those Ors get in. The damage dealt will be huge to the Nordic Horse Lords. And yes, the Nordic Horse Lords actually did insane damage to these Step Lancers and killed them off the field. But look at them, they lost so many by pulling out. Same thing's gonna happen over here, actually. Look at this Nordic Horse Lord. Lost 12. Yes, the Step Lancers might be off the field, but all, all the Nordic Horse Lords that have died, they, they have just lost so much. And now here comes the Step Chieftain into the Nordic Horse Lords. This is going to be a bit weird, because charging in Step Chieftain against Cavalry is risky. May pay off, but it is risky. But this flank is definitely going for Achilles. Very nice back charge with the Step Lancers as well. 
Here his ores though, gonna get rear charged, so this isn't very good. He should turn them around and charge into the Huskarls. Here his Step Lancers came back, he's gonna go for a Huskarl charge. Here he's gonna get some insane jabs off on the Nordic Horse Lords. These guys didn't even get a charge off, so that's good for Achilles. Nordic Horse Lords here are gonna charge in, but not the proper charge. They should have charged into these ores, possibly. They are being heavily mismicroed there. Here the Huskarls are trying to flank around, and they're actually gonna get into the flank of the Bosphorn Warrior, so that's good. Now Achilles' right flank has broken through. He should have actually moved like one or two units towards the center and only flanked with like... I mean, he shouldn't have sent everywhere onto his right flank, because he definitely needed some support in the center. And now he's gonna get his uh, general into the Viking Captain General, so that is an interesting choice, but if you think about it, he barely killed anything, so it wasn't that worth it, especially with considering his general has lost a lot of men. I don't think that move was a good one, to be fair. And now he's he's in a lot of trouble over here, and he's gonna start engaging this Nordic Horse Lord, and he's gonna get his general in there. And this might actually be the end of Achilles because he's engaging this Nordic Horse Lord. If he's unlucky and he loses his general, this would be huge. However, as you can see here, he's breaking through on his right flank. Oh, he, his unit kind of gets rear charged here, the Ewer Warriors, so they will take a lot of damage. Viking Captain pulling out, so he's gonna take some damage while pulling out. But the engagements overall, like, Achilles' Ewer Warriors are gonna do a lot of damage, but I'm not sure if they have attack orders here. I think they may not have attack orders, which is why they're not doing too great, I think. Look at them, they're just sitting. Mostly sitting around here. Now they're gonna fight. Uh, now the step chieftain pulled out, and yes, it's dead. So at this point, as I feared, like Achilles' uh, units should start wavering right now. If he had his general left at this point, this game would have been won by Achilles. I think it would not have been a contest. But with the general dead, it's a truly different story right now. Well, actually, it still would have been close, even if he didn't lose his general. But Achilles should have definitely gotten this game because uh, he had, he still had a good amount of war warriors left on the field. Uh, who knows? Uh, this might still be possible, but it's unlikely. He does have more men, and he routed these Huskarls. His Huskarls still on the field here now. Ors. I mean, I like how he's doing it here, using Bosphorn warriors to defend against the cavalry. But the Nordic horse swords pierced through. And uh, they really broke through the Bosphorans there, wow. Now these, uh, wow, these Huskar, Royal Huskars came back, that is huge. These wars here will do a decent job, but they're up against two units, so not gonna work. And now all these units for uh, Achilles are wavering, and they're gonna start routing off the field. So it looks like the Huns are actually gonna lose here, but it was a very close game. I, I mean, that's definitely true. Achilles did very well with the cav engagement. Uh, I mean, you, you were able to see that Stradomsky, once once he cleaned up the Step Lancers, his Nordic Horse Lords got absolutely thrashed by the Javelins as they were pulling back. So that was really good by Achilles. Uh, the other thing is that Achilles had infantry support much closer to the cavalry in comparison to Stradomsky. When Stradomsky attacked with his cavalry, his infantry was a bit farther behind than Achilles's, so that was uh, important to note as well. And even though, if you look at it, Achilles's calf didn't really do that much in terms of killing, it did what it needed to do, which is uh, hold down the Nordic Horse Lords uh, and then allow the Javelins to, despite doing friendly fire, to kill the Nordic Horse Lords. And that really paid, uh, paid off for Achilles, but sadly, near the end of the game, he lost his general, which was the turning point, I believe. And that's how he lost the game. So yeah, hope you guys guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, or subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Share the video and I shall see you next time.